I'm gonna show you how we get every one of our clients on a hosting and maintenance plan. I'll tell you exactly what we charge for hosting and maintenance, and then I'm gonna give you seven ideas for things that you can put into a basic marketing package to go along with the hosting and maintenance. And if you do all of that, I think you'll find that you at least triple your revenue. So the way that we get all of our clients on a hosting and maintenance plan is we bundle the hosting and maintenance with at least a basic marketing package, and we sell the whole thing as a bundle. For the hosting and maintenance, we actually use a managed WordPress host, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's okay because we charge $100 per month for hosting and maintenance. And that $100 covers the actual hosting, but it also covers up to one hour of our time to do miscellaneous things that might pop up during the month. Answering a couple of emails, changing the hours or whatever, you know, that happens all the time these days. You know, just whatever, just little tweaks here and there so you don't have to send little 30 minute invoices to people and you don't have to work for free. And then you bundle that whole package up and the hosting and maintenance is $100 per month. But if that's all you do, it's really difficult to get clients to see the value of that. So what we do in, in addition to that is we provide at least a basic marketing package to go along with the hosting and maintenance. And then we charge somewhere at least $500 to $1,000 per month for the whole thing altogether. Now here are seven ideas that you can put into a basic marketing package. And these are probably mostly things that you can already do anyway right now. The first one is blogging and content marketing. So we like to get clients on at least a weekly blog post so that over the, especially if it's a new site, you wanna be able to over the course of the year get at least 50 pages on the site through the blogging and everything to build up the credibility and the authority on, on the topics that they talk about. So just having a weekly blog post is really helpful. The second idea is, okay, take the blog post and create a YouTube video out of it. And then you're creating you know, video content that you could share on YouTube or Instagram or any of those other places. Then idea number three is take the audio off of the video and create a podcast. So now you've got the blogging, you've got YouTube, you've got a podcast going on, and then you can take the long form video and chop it up into little, little 60 second nuggets and then share those short form videos on social media as well to kind of get exposure for the podcast and the YouTube channel and get extra subscribers for the longer form content. So now that's, we've referred to that as content repurposing and you're just taking long form content, chopping it up into short form videos, and then that's driving extra traffic into your long form content. So that's thing number four. If you're liking this, please thump the thumb for me because hitting the like button helps other people discover the video. The fifth thing is email list building. Definitely put an email opt-in on the client's site with some kind of a lead magnet that's something interesting that they would be able to download or get access to in exchange for their email address. So now you're building an email list. So the next thing is, okay, well now that you got the list, start sending out a weekly email to let people know about the, the blogging and the YouTube videos and the stuff that you, that you churn out on a weekly basis so that you're driving traffic to all of that. And then in addition to that, the last thing, the seventh thing, are drip campaigns. So as people sign up for the lead magnet, send out a sequence of three to five lead nurturing emails to kind of help people understand what your client does and kind of, and kind of warm up and nurture the client to the point of taking some form of call to action. So then if you have the basic marketing plan, add the hosting and maintenance to it, then you can charge somewhere at least at least $500 to $1,000. We usually have our entry point around $800 to $900 per month so that you're making somewhere around $10,000 per year, you know, like $850 per month times 12 months is a little bit over 10, like $10,200. And you add that to whatever you would have charged for building the website. Let's say you build a $5,000 website. Now you've got this $10,000 marketing plan with hosting and maintenance included. And you've taken a $5,000 project, turned it into a $15,000 client, and that triples your revenue. <laughs>